Welcome to Music Legends. And today I will be looking at Zimbabwean songs. You didn't know, were stolen from elsewhere. Zimbabwe like any other country has a lot of gifted musicians and producers. Recent works by some of our local musicians beg the question. If our local hitmakers are really as talented as pre In this list I will cross-examine local hits. Which were given credit for astounding creativity. With the original foreign beats, which are long forgotten hits, and even dormant artists. So let's get down to business. If this was in any particular order, Zimbabwean musician Juntal deserves a trophy as the best plagiarizing artist on his song New Tupo. Originally taken from Code Divorce, Bibi Philip, Balamba. Jungle not only takes the Afrobeat, but also the rhythm as it is. If these songs were juxtaposed on a similar index, Jungle would have copied the Balamba hitmaker. As if this was not enough. Juntal also takes the same concept of having many dancers under some trees. I don't know, but the similarity is striking. Ja Prazer is also a culprit in this list. He admitted that he copied the best of his song. When Asakana on the album Tsuriyo. From Ghanaian musician, Emmanuel Samini's 2007 hit track, Samini. There's a striking similarity between Samina and JP. When Asakana, uploading the two songs on their website, triggers a barrage of criticism and queries about JP's creativity. Ja Prazer assists that he was inspired by African movie soundtrack. Well, he said he was inspired by the sound and didn't know it was a released song. If you listen to the bass line of the song, let's talk about it. Featuring military touch movement members, XQ and Nutty O. Was mind blowing praising the creativity of the producer, Tamuka. Let's talk about it. Oh, uh, let's talk about it. If I say, be a big boy, be a big daughter, why you gonna choose my girl? But these heaps of praises were to dwindle upon learning that the beat was stolen from the song, Hollow by Mr. Easy. The late Tongai Moyo released the song Dapare. Three years after the Congolese rumba artist Kof Alamide released RAS. Okay, I want you to listen to the two songs. Ka 
Caps, Kapangala le champion, le motivateur de tous les motivés. Robert Braza. Shalom Petrole Lingoui. I'm sure this is plagiarism. As Tanti Moyo was seen always put on the latest Dezinger apparels. That made him look like multimillionaire Congolese famous rumba artist Kof Alamai. Did you know that the catchphrase MM was copied also from Kof? MM Mopao Mokozi le maximum. Ezangai Mopao Mokozi. It means I'm the big boss. Muroji Mukuru. Wega unwazi ama system yacho. Dender musician Suleimani Chimbedu, who is one of the most followed artists in Zimbabwe, also stands accused of the beat of Kenyan group, Les Wanyuka's hit song, Kijuchuliza Kasuku, to create the 2010 song, Kwedu. <laughs> Interestingly the Kiswahili word, Kasuku, is generally similar in meaning Kwedu. Are all songs as good as they sound? Are they good as we thought they are? Join me as I explore on different music concepts. Here on Music Legends. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Whisper K Madondo for more great content. Best man le meilleur. Et donc, il faut une joie à toi, il y a la boulot.